you know, with that being said, it's like, uh, you gotta just stay focused. You have to stay focused. You have to stay focused. You have to stay focused. Um, you always have to keep your eyes on the prize. <sighs> even when no one is supporting you, even when no one is, you know, clapping for you, you know, even when no one is like, making you feel like you're supported or you, you know, got people in your corner. It's like, even when you don't feel like that, you still have to keep going, you know? You have to clap, learn to clap for yourself. You just have to learn how to do for yourself in every way. You have to find what it is that keeps you motivated, keeps you going. Like I said, like I said, whatever that desire is, whatever that passion is, you, you have to keep it going for yourself, man, because ain't nobody going to do it for you. Um, one thing that a lot of us make the... The, the um, mistake of doing and assuming is that everyone out there outside of us is thinking and feeling the same way that we are. That is a huge, huge, huge mistake that we make every day with with different people, uh, co-workers, family, friends, whoever, uh, people on the road, people in the store. It, it's like you, you can never assume somebody's thinking how you're thinking or feeling how you're feeling. You will be highly, highly disappointed and you will feel highly, highly let down. Um, like I said, because of because we're living in such a mental health turmoil state right now amongst everyone, uh, you kind of have to keep that in mind even more today. You, you know, you kind of have to like remind yourself of that even more so. Because people's feelings and people's uh, emotions are so unstable and so wishy-washy and flippy-floppy today that you literally can be talking to someone and thinking one way one day and things can literally be completely different the next, man. And um, that can be with business, that can be with money, that can be relationships, that can be with anything. Um, you know, people are so deep and so caught up in their own issues and their own problems that sometimes that overweighs everything and that and that uh, overshadows everything it exceeds everything and to the point where people literally don't even know how to uh, keep up with themselves take care of themselves function uh, m- make a living all of that and it, it literally all stems from mental health um, you know so it's like um, if you're not doing the necessary things like eating right uh, exercising drinking water getting the right rest, uh, if you're not take, doing the necessary things to combat, uh, you know, your mental health ailments, it's, it's a wrap. It's like you, you don't stand a chance, really. And you're going to fall victim to becoming jealous of other people. You're going to vic- you're gonna fall victim to uh, uh, becoming envious to other people. And you're going to be uh, just bitter and, and, you know, stubborn and stuck in your ways and nothing's going to change the only it's just going to be a snowball effect and it's just going to grow and grow and grow the more you stay complacent and stay in this uh this this you know rut or um mental state that you're in that has you down under and just not being productive or not being progressive you know um I'm starting to learn that and see that now that so many people out here literally just never had someone tell them this. So many people out here literally never had someone to talk to them or tell them anything or give them any type of encouragement or any type of uh, advice or guidance or structure. It's like uh, they literally are out here like blind mice following other blind mice and not knowing where to go and what to do. And this is why so many, um, you know, gangs form. This is why so many uh, of these little street cliques with these young boys uh, happen and form because it's like they don't have no one at home telling them any different, showing them any different. They're literally just watching videos, listening to music and going by whatever their friends are doing and saying. And, And it's like that's nothing but a recipe for disaster. It's nothing but a recipe for complete destruction. And so many people don't even tell no one this, you know what I'm saying, like, like, people don't even talk to the young people, or talk to their own kids like this, you know what I'm saying, it's like, what, what do you, exactly do you expect to happen to these, to, to your kids, and to these young people, 
when uh, nothing is literally being taught or implemented with inside the, ho the home and the household. It's like, um, it, it'll blow your mind, man. It, it's like people's, people's uh, logic on so many things will literally blow your mind, man. It, it's like, it doesn't even make sense. And, and it's like, you can't even try and make it make sense because you, you'll stress your, yourself out trying to make it make sense just what exactly is freaking going on with people, man. Um, and, and like I said, it just it all stems from mental health and accountability and responsibility and prioritizing just what exactly is going on in your life. This is why I keep telling people not to have kids prematurely. Stop having kids. Stop having kids. Stop having kids that you are not able to take care of and be there for and properly raise. Okay? There's too much unstableness even before the child is brought into the world. But so many people still continue to take to uh, go forward with making a child, and then the only person that is suffering is that child X amount of years down the line, if not right away. You know, it, it, it's it, at this point, it's like it's unbelievable the uh, the mentality that so many young parents and young people have, and even the older. You know, so many uh, older parents are so stuck in their ways and so stuck in their their uh, habits and their patterns and their behaviors and their addictions and whatever else and their issues and their trauma and their baggage that it literally bleeds over and leaks over on every damn body in the family and, and the kids and whether they're young kids or, or grown adults, the uh, relationship has, uh, you know, voids and, and holes in it, you know, because nothing was ever... Um, there was never a foundation to begin with. There was never nothing to build on to begin with. So, x amount of uh, x amount of years down the line, you have a divided family. You have a divided um, relationships. You have uh, mad family beef. You got mad everyone talking shit about each other um, for whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it just it's just a, a snowball of dysfunction really, you know, that stems from all of this, you know, the, uh, the lack of accountability that parents hold for themselves leaks over into the family and into the kids, and then the kids grow up repeating the same exact cycles and behaviors, and here we are, you know what I'm saying, here we are in a world full of adults who never developed certain emotional and psychological skills to be able to operate or uphold any type of relationship or any type of position in anything, you know, so it's like destruction and um, just complete dysfunction is the only outcome that there is, you know, it's amazing, man, it really is amazing to me what what, what this all has come to and what, what all has, um, what this all has amounted to, man. Uh, it's hard to believe. It really hard. It's hard to believe because, the, like I said, the kids are the only ones that are uh, being affected. And it's like if the adults are, are are this screwed up, and if the adults are this messed up, who the heck is going to raise the kids? Who the heck is going to help the kids out? Who the heck is going to do for the kids? You know what I'm saying? It's like these kids are literally out here raising themselves, man. It's, it's like these kids are literally out here just going with the wind and doing whatever it is. Whatever is at hand is what they're doing and what they're going with, and that can be anything. That can literally be anything. And it's so crazy. It's like I'm the only one talking about this shit or something. And, and all y'all asses got kids. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and then people like me got to deal with them when they get when they grow up and get into the system. Oh, I'm trying to keep my personal opinions out of it, but um, it's hard. It's, it's hard when, when you're faced with it every day, when you're the one dealing with it every day. You know what I'm saying? You got these, these young kids and these young boys looking at you like you're their daddy and they just met you. That's how desperate and deprived these young boys be, especially. Most young girls out here, they at least have their mom or somebody. These young boys don't got nobody. They meet you after one to two days and they looking at you like you a father figure already. It doesn't bother.
bother nobody because it doesn't hit home. But when it does hit home, then you want to cry. Then you, then it's this. Then it's that. You know. Then then it's then you march in the streets. Now now you speaking up. Now you saying something. It's too late. Little JoJo's in the fucking ground. Little JoJo's in the fucking cell. It's too late. Don't cry now. Don't hit my phone now. Oh, can you speak to little key crew for me? No. It's too late. I tried to warn you X amount of years ago. People are crazy, man. People are really crazy out here. And it's like people will will try and make it seem like you're the one doing something wrong. Or you're the one in the wrong for shedding light and exposing what is going on out here in these these these, house, these households, in these communities, in these homes, in these ghettos, in these hoods, in these cities, all across America. People will, will make it seem like you're the one wrong for speaking up on this and, and speaking out about it. People say all kind of shit to you. Oh, you don't got kids. What do you know? Oh, you know what? Yeah, I don't got kids because I'm working with George in the fucking system every goddamn day. It's foolish, man. It's foolish. It's it's uh it's childish. It's uh you know it, it, it's like we're we're le- we're headed down a path. Of destruction so fast, man, and we don't even realize it. We don't even see it. And I hate, I hate it. I hate it for our people, man. I hate it because it's like we're, we're literally like fish in a barrel. We're like crabs in a barrel, man. Just easily getting picked off, easily getting just, just done, done, done away with, put under, man. And it's like no one bats an eye. No one says a thing, man. And it's like every day one of our prestigious prominent black men are dying. It's like why why every couple of months is one of our prestigious prominent black men dying? I'm not understanding that. And it's like what 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 irritates me the most is the stuff that I see that people share online. The stuff that I see that people like online, the stuff that I see that people do online, it's like, this is what really taking up y'all's mind. Like, this is what's really controlling y'all's mind and what's what's controlling y'all's thought process. This is what's really, uh, like, on y'all's mind, yo. And almost all of y'all have children. And still out here conducting yourself and acting like a child. Yourself. It's like I can't stand it, yo. It's like some people. It's like certain people I can't even be around no more, man. Like certain type of people I can't even be around no more, yo. It's like it actually irks me. It actually irks my brain. It actually boils my blood to be around certain people anymore. White, black, brown, it don't even matter. It's like ignorance don't, don't doesn't have a, a, a color to it, man. Every group of people has their own their own slums and their own ghettos and, and hoods and, and, and just And it's like the same story. It's the same story everywhere. It's the same story, it's the same outcomes, it's the same results everywhere. What do we do? What are we gonna do? What, what what's gonna happen? You know what I'm saying? We keep living in this superficial, artificial, uh, fictional ass world and reality. What eventually is going to happen? This social media, internet, show my ass, show some skin. Uh, what's going to happen? Your, your daughters are going to grow up and be young, young girls looking on your internet. 
on your social media platform seeing you half naked and almost every goddamn picture, what you think she going to want to start doing when she turns 10, 11, 12 years old? What do you think she's going to want to start doing? Young boys growing up and they're seeing, they're seeing all, all the older dudes talking and, and, and conducting themselves the same way they, they them and their young friends are doing. What are they supposed to look up to? What difference are they supposed to make in, in their futures and in their young lives when they become young men? It's, it's, it's like, it's like, it's like the men out here, it's like the insecurities are overwhelming and taking over so many men out here. I'll get to the women later, but I want to focus on the men because I am a man and I am a black man on top of that in America. And I'm telling you right now, black man in America, if you don't get a hold on your goddamn insecurities and figure out what is what's going on with inside yourself and what's inside your own mental health, you ain't going to last long. And your kids ain't going to last long. want to point the damn finger at every damn body and every damn thing else on why your ass is in the position you're in, but you, you, you're refusing to take a look in the damn mirror at your own damn self and, and realizing your own goddamn actions that's that's preventing you and holding your ass back. But you, you're ready to hate on the next man. You want to talk shit about the next man. I, you, you, you should be worried about your, your, your lady fucking leaving you and, and, and fucking with someone else. You ought to be worried about that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like jealousy, insecurities, envy. It's like that shit takes over everything when it comes to most black men out here in America, man. Focus on you. Focus on yourself. Get your shit together. Build yourself up. Stop fucking worrying about every goddamn body else instead of yourself. Stop fucking watching every goddamn body else. Stop fucking watching me so goddamn much. Stop watching other people so goddamn much. Focus on you. It's like, it's like I'm tired of dealing with niggas like like kids and, and, and grown. I'm tired of handling grown ass men like freaking kids and like little boys. And when half of y'all asses out here got kids and little boys, your damn self. And, this, and you know what I'm saying? It's like this is why I can't talk. I, I can't say it because it's like y'all ain't ready to hear this shit. Y'all don't want to hear this shit. Y'all don't got time to hear this shit. Y'all don't got that. Y'all don't even got the comprehension level to hear this shit. So it's like, what are we supposed to do? Jada Kiss said it the best, yo. Jada Kiss said it the best. It's hard to make a stupid nigga want to learn. It's hard to make a stupid nigga want to learn. Because there's only one thing that a nigga comprehends. And that's whatever he's hearing and seeing on and the music and on the fucking TV. Still. To this day. At this age. Still. Like a little ass boy. And you chicks, you fucking, you, you chicks, don't even get me started on you chicks, man. Don't even get me started on you females, okay? Don't even get me started, man. I might have to save that for another, I might have to <laughs> save that for another video, let myself calm down, you know what I'm saying? I might say some shit, but uh, for real, man, it's, it's like loyalty, non-existent. Commitment, dedication, non-existent. Communication skills on an all-time low. Y'all are so... So many women out here are so used to dealing with men that are on the damn... That have a reading level of a fucking third grade gr grader that you, you get with these men, you get with these type of dudes, and you're expecting certain things from these type of dudes, and then when that doesn't happen, and, and it's like when that doesn't work out, all men is this. All men is that. There ain't no good men left. N yada, yada. Did Not for one second taking a look in the mirror and taking a look at the kind of men that you are uh, uh, pursuing and allowing to pursue you. And, and then you want to turn around and have kids by these men and then turn around and say that men are deadbeat fathers. Men ain't shit. Then got the nerve to turn around and go get with a woman. 
because you've been hurt by a man and go go get with a woman that's going to do your ass 10 times motherfucking worse than the man that you supposedly got done dirty by and ain't nobody in the motherfucking situation suffering but your goddamn kids and you don't want to admit that shit because you're too goddamn stubborn you're too goddamn prideful and you're too goddamn hurt to even see what the hell's going on within your own fucking household with your own goddamn kids fuck a man fuck a relationship Look at what the hell is happening to your goddamn kids. How many men does your motherfucking kids know? How many men did, does your son look up to and look like, damn, is that my dad? How many fucking uh, men is your daughter looking up to like, damn, is that my daddy? Am I going to be his daddy, little girl? How many fucking men? How many? I'm tired of holding my tongue with this shit, man. There's too much bullshit going on out here. For no one not to be saying shit And there's too much bullshit going on out here For the real to not surface eventually I'm sick of this 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 Just fucking Fake ass Shit man I'm so sick of this fake shit You have no idea I'm up to my fucking neck with this fake shit From everybody and every everyone My bad I'm like spitting everywhere and shit I'm passionate about this shit man and I'm not even trying to be cursing like this, but it's, it's like, it, it gets to me, it gets to me so bad when people try and, and act like the bullshit is what, is, is, is what matters. It, 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 you have no idea how, how much, like, even people that I, that I, like, I'll see somebody in person that I know, that they know that I know that they full of shit, you know what I'm saying? It, it's like, you, know, you, you probably experience this too, like, you get around someone that you know it's full of shit and, and they'll be trying to act like Oh yeah It's all cool with you and shit And like nothing ever happened Like it, It's like You know what I'm saying It's like that Shit like that right there It's like it it, it, it it gets to me man It gets to me You know Because it's like There's no accountability With nothing no more man And it's like No one gives a fuck About nothing Nothing but y'all out here having fucking babies. Y'all out here making kids and at the same time not giving a fuck about nothing. 